Hello there, dear friends. It's Russ Sallow again with GPS to Go, and this is going to be another one of our informative videos on working with the new GeoTab 5.6 building routes today, sending them to the Garmin Navigator. A route is a series of stops, so it's a series of our what we call zones or geo zones, as you may have heard. From place to place, you want to send your people, so you build a route that tells them I want you to go from A to B to C and so on. So let's have a look here. In the field, and I'm going to play a video inside a video here from one of my other ones. In the field, your people have their Garmin Navigator attached in the car. They're going to have a button that says My Stops. And in here, this person, she's going to touch. And now we have our stops right here. So you're able to send from your office right into the Garmin Navigator a list of stops and it's stop one. When they get there, the next one comes up and then so on and so forth. So how do we compile that kind of thing? So if we're inside GeoTab 5.6, we want to go under Zones and Messages. Let's go under Routes. Click on Routes again. Now, what we end up getting is going to look something like this. We'll let this load up here. We've got a series of stops. And if I want to show it on the map as an example, you'll see what that looks like. So we have our green arrow. This is our starting spot. And these are labeled stop one, stop two, stop three. And the end is a square representing the stop, the last stop. So how do we build this kind of thing? Number one, you need to have zones in your checkmate. Now there's a way to put in mass import of zones when you have hundreds of them because you're not going to create them all one by one by hand. So we have ways of doing that. You can go under zones, import zones, and there's another video coming that will show you that. If I want to create a route, which is a series of stops, we're going to go under routes. Click on routes again. I'm going to make a new one. So we're going to click on the word new. Now in this case I can see a lot of these zones, but imagine I'm starting off and I'm looking at the fire station and I say to myself, well, I want this to be the first place that I'm leaving from uh, and I'm going to uh, start that as the beginning, but I can't see the rest. Anyway, starting off, first thing we need to do is left click on this zone and the word add zone to root is going to come up. The next place that we might want to go is going to be the Kilbourne Mall. If we put in KIL, Kilbourne Mall is going to come up next. That's a good logical place. Left click, add to zone, add zone to root. You see that we have a black line, not that beautiful bright blue one, because we are in the editing compiling phase here still. So this means that we're still tentatively building this. I could just click on this next one, left click, because I can see it if that's where I want them to go next. Add zone to root. I can see the edge of another one over here. If I want this one to be the next place here, add zone to root. Left click on there. We have a couple of others that maybe we want to add in. There's one called Lorenzo Arch. Left click, add zone. I think you get the idea. We'll add in we'll add in one more here. Left click, add zone. Our black line shows up and let's do one here called gas and coffee. Left click, we'll add that one in. Add zone to root. So now we have put in all of our different zones. Let's save it. Hit save. All of these different zones are going to be in there and I can juggle these around but pay attention what happens up here and make sure so not to get confused. If I make gas and coffee the second last instead of the very last we're still going to have this labeled as from fire station to gas and coffee. So be careful if you do do that kind of thing, you may need to change this. So I'll move this back. 
and I'm going to put in a moniker in here of 006. If I save this, now in order to see that visually on the map, I can click on Roots, Roots. Here's our 006. I'm going to highlight it. If I want to show it on the map, and there it is. Again, the green arrow represents the place we're leaving from. Stop one, stop two, stop three, and so on. So again, to send that kind of thing, just to make sure in case you missed it in the beginning, if I want to send it to the vehicle, I click on routes. I have my list of different routes that I have. Let's do this one here, 005. Click on send to vehicle, select the vehicle, hit the word send, and you're off. In the next video, we're going to show you something very, very cool, which is your plan versus actual report. So pay attention to that. You're going to like that one. It's going to help you understand, are your people on time when they're following these routes? So again, I'm Russ Sallow from GPS2Go, GPS2Go.